to do this video for you guys because I figured this out on my own. I think somebody else posted this on YouTube too, but um, I filmed this wedding in 60, 60 frames per second, right? So it's um, very clean footage. Let me see, I'm gonna push play. It might stall. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to show you under my settings. This is in 60 frames per second. It's blotched out. You can't change it to 24 frames or 30 frames if you wanted to go back. So the whole project is done, right? I mean, it's a long project. It's like 21 minutes, right? Worked on this. Lots of stuff, right? So what I wanted to show you guys is... Um, I want to give my clients two options, here, right? I want to give them an option where she has 60 frames per second because she wants more of this office, like the show, the office style wedding. But, you know, I'm more into like that cinematic 24 frames. But for this, I've done tests and it seems 30 frames is better. So, um, I can't change it under the settings. So as obviously you could see that. Now, I wouldn't want to do that anyway because I want to keep one of my projects 60 frames. So this project is named Wedding Full. So how do you do this? And you would think, well, okay, so I'm just going to do a new project, right? We'll call it Wedding Full. 30 FPS, right? So I'll go with that, right? Okay, there you go. We'll go in the project settings. We'll say 30 frames, okay? It's set, right? So the project's set, ready for me to copy everything into it. We'll go back to my project manager, go back to the full wedding, and from here, Show you again just so you understand I'm still 60 frames per second in this right so we'll go here gonna copy all of it control C now we'll go back to project manager and when we're gonna go back to the weddings 30 frames per second right so we're here we'll drop it in the beginning and I'm gonna as you could see let me show you again project settings I have it 30 frames per second, so I should just be able to copy it in and it, and it should go, right? Copy. Okay, so they're all here, right? Boom. Everything's set. Should be able to, to go, right? So let's look at the project settings. Nope. It changed it to 60. So how would you do this? Well... I thought about this and I thought, how can you do it? And here's how you do it. Let's forget about what we put in. So just, we're gonna undo what we did. And then I'm going to go into one of my cameras. I shoot with the A7S III. As you can see this clip right here, I'll show it to you guys. It is. Do you like wearing a dress? Hey, okay. I'm gonna... It's in 60 frames, you could see. It's got that 60 frames left, right? Okay, so we'll take this, and we're just gonna bring this one in, right? So I bring it here, and then boom. You always get change project frame rate. So do we wanna do that? If I hit change, then it's gonna change to 60 frames. I'm gonna say, don't change. So as the result, we're gonna look at our project settings, Um, okay, so it must have been when I dropped in um, the first frame that it's it's stuck at 60 frames. So let's create a new project then because that's that's uh, obviously already set. So let's do um, wedding 30 frames per second. We'll just put two, the second one, okay? As you can see, we're going to go in here. We'll go to Project Settings. 
we're going to change this to 30 and the projects there so instead of actually copying everything down let's take this 60 frames clip like I said as you can see let's show it to you again just so you know I'm not so we'll go here you could tell like wearing a dress okay. Okay. I'm gonna one time you gotta do it just okay 60 frames dump it in and don't change we're not going to change the frame rate so now this is now at 30 frames it's staying at 30 frames so then what you're going to want to do is go back to your project your original project so wedding full go back here control all control c Go back to my other project manager. So we're going to go back to the one two, not the one before. So as you can see, it's still in 30 frames. So now I'm going to dump all of my 60 frames in it and watch this. Boom. So it's all here. Like before, when I dumped it in by itself, it changed. <laughs> and now it didn't so now my project is in 60 frames so then we're just going to go back here and delete this and now my project is back to 30 frames so this is how you do it um, I had thought about this and I tried it and it worked showed this to my brother because he actually had a project that he wanted to do this with and he found someone else that did this online but anyway I, I'm happy because I, I thought of this and it actually works so if you ever want to change your project from whether it's 120 frames or 60 frames whatever you did your project in you can actually create a new project and change the frame rate but once you change it just so you know as you can see under settings you cannot do anything after you do what I just did. So you, that's why um, it's pretty cool just that now I have this whole project as 30 frames per second and I still have it as 60 frames per second. So now I can give my client both versions. So I hope this video is helpful for you and that um, you can use this in the future. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment below. And I'll see you on the next one.